Hi, I'm doing a little bit of discussion on Deborah Sampson. She's an amazing woman that maybe not a lot of us know who she is. So I'm going to give you a little bit of detail about her. Deborah Sampson is best known for disguising herself as a man to serve in the Continental Army from May 1782 to October 1783. She was also one of the first women to receive a pension for her military service and the first woman to go on lecture tours in the United States. She was born December 17, 1760 in Plimpton, Massachusetts. She grew up in poverty. At the age of five, her father abandoned the family. She was sent to live with relatives and at the age of 10, she was, became a servant to the family of the Thomas family in Marlborough, Massachusetts. She stayed there till she was 18 years old and at that time she became a teacher and a weaver. But then at the age of 21, on May 23rd, 1782, she decided to disguise herself as a man and she took the name of Robert Shercliffe. She enlisted in the Continental Army under the 4th Massachusetts Regiment. She was one of the new recruits that marched from Worcester, Massachusetts to West Point, New York. That's pretty amazing. And she was disguised as a man the whole time. Nobody knew that she was a woman. And they didn't know for almost two years. And the thing is, is that she went on to become light infantry. Because of her size, she was 5'5", five five, and anybody that was small, they put them in light infantry. They had few supplies, and they did res risky missions. In Sharon, Massachusetts, at the Sharon, Massachusetts Public Library, there is a statue of Deborah Sampson there. She is also buried in Sharon, Massachusetts. And on her tombstone, it says, female soldier.